Windows 7 or Windows 10? Which one's faster? Let's get right into the tests. Starting off with the boot speed test. As with every test in this video, I ran this test several times as I wanted to make sure this video was as scientifically accurate as possible. After this test, we'll go through three other tests to determine the speed difference between the two versions of Windows. If you're wondering about how usable Windows 7 is in the modern day though, can it still securely browse the web? Can it still play modern games? You can check out my video about it up in the card at the top right. As you can see, in this particular test, Windows 7 beat Windows 10 by a matter of seconds. This was generally the case throughout the three trials of this test, as Windows 7 usually booted up in around 46 to 47 seconds, with it sometimes taking 5 to 10 seconds longer, while Windows 10 usually booted up in around 50 seconds, with sometimes being around 5 seconds longer, and others oddly being just above the 40 second mark. On average though, Windows 7 was usually 2 to 10 seconds quicker to boot, and also, due to it being a lighter operating system than Windows 10, it was consistently much snappier during the first few minutes after boot up as well. Now, onto the gaming performance test. As usual, Windows 7 is on the left, and Windows 10 is on the right. The game we're using to test performance here is Assetto Corsa, and on both operating systems, the game is running at 1080p with all graphical settings maxed out. Now, you may be wondering what the specs of this test rig are. It's quite an interesting setup. The CPU is an Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600, the GPU is a 2GB MSI GTX 1050, the hard drive is a 120GB laptop Fujitsu drive originally from a 2007 Toshiba satellite, and in terms of RAM, it's got 6GB of DDR2. I picked these parts as slower parts will better accentuate the differences in speed between the two operating systems. The game is a bit old now as it was released in 2014, but it still looks great and runs quite well even with these specs. After completing the test three times, the average of the scores on Windows 7 was 6048, and the average of the scores on Windows 10 was 6157. While they performed very similarly, Windows 10 averaged 1 FPS higher throughout the benchmark. Windows 7, being the lighter OS though, loaded the game 1 second faster than Windows 10 did. And now, the program opening test. For this test, I opened Google Chrome on both versions of Windows simultaneously, with the homepage set to youtube.com. Each test is conducted after a reboot of the system, and after the hard drive stops pegging it near 100% use. For Windows 7, it stopped at around the 1 minute and 30 second mark, but for Windows 10, this was much further out at around the 2 minute and 30 second mark. In terms of the test, Windows 7 starts to load faster, but Windows 10 barely edges it out as it's the first to fully load the page and play back the ad. The difference between the two is negligible though. And Windows 10 barely wins again. Finally, the Performance Test V10 test. This is a comprehensive system benchmark that measures the performance of all parts of the system. So, while it runs, relax and enjoy the benchmark. So, here you can see the results for this particular trial. 
On Windows 7, when taking an average of the trials conducted, we got an average of a 1907.2 CPU mark, a 6.5 2D mark, where something is totally off, and it's not the GPU drivers as I updated those to the same version on both operating systems, a 4025.6 3D mark, an 864.0 memory mark, and a 222.8 disk mark. On Windows 10, the trials averaged to an 1879.1 CPU mark, a vastly more realistic 368.1 2D mark, a 4380.3 3D mark, an 867.6 memory mark, and a 230.1 disk mark. Both are quite close, ignoring the erroneous result of Windows 7's 2D mark and the resulting overall pass mark score, but Windows 10 still manages to pull a slight lead. So despite being much newer and a bit heavier of an operating system, Windows 10 has shown slightly superior performance in resource-intensive applications such as games and benchmarking software, while Windows 7, being the lighter operating system, has proven more snappy and usable overall. Make sure to check out my Is Windows 7 Obsolete video if you're still wondering whether you actually need to make the jump to Windows 10 or not, and otherwise, thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you, and subscribe for more tech videos like this. Also, don't forget to check out my automotive channel, Tech Simpler Garage. See you all in the next video.